To restore moral values and provide 21st century learning infrastructure needed for contemporary teaching and learning is the reason these old students of St. Angela Girls Grammar School are in Government House. For Philip Shaibu, giving back to the society is one virtue Nigerians have cultivated. This, he says, is rewarding and will help contribute to the development of the state and the country in general. To create that ambience of learning, because it's by the road, yes. so that you not, they will not be distracted. distracted. So I can assure you, we will definitely face it. Thank and you. Thank for you, the commissioning, let's know the date and we will fix it. I'll try and be there. Earlier, the old girls, one of whom is a Zonak director, NTA Benin Network Center, Pauline Igbano, appeal to the state government for assistance in the area of perimeter fencing so as to protect the facilities the old girls will be commissioning in the school. We have done a lot of projects on ground. We have come to let him know how far we have gone. We worked on the school library. We have uh, bought things for the, the lab, lab, all the three labs. The, we furnished two and bought a uh, reagents for them to write their work exams. Currently, there is no perimeter fence uh, in the school and the school is by the road and it's a girls secondary school. The old girls on their own too, they've, they've also done a lot of interventions in uh, renovation of the library, the laboratory and provision of uh, uh, uniforms and uh, shoes and even payment of school fees to some of the indigent uh, students. They lauded the state government's efforts in the area of sports and education. The St. Angeles Girls Grammar School was founded in 1964. It has a population of about 700 students. In Benin, Elizabeth Omako, NTN News.